Heroes, unite! First of all, today I salute God. Now I'm going to be doing something like that in every video from now on where I salute a different random hero. You have a suggestion of a hero I should... I ah, can't speak. I should salute. Leave it in the comment section down below. But first of all, I'm sorry for not making a video the last few days. Well, I'll just leave it at this. Crazy sleep schedule. That and the fact I really haven't been able to get to this. Trust me, I've actually been wanting to make a new video every single day, but anyways, with today being Father's Day, I thought I'd make a special video today for Father's Day. Uh, oh man. Well, I feel really stupid right now. I had the entire plan saying, I had the, ah, I had the entire plan, excuse the double wording, planned out in my mind. Now I can't remember. I guess I should say I salute all dads around the world first and foremost at least the her heroes the villains I am not gonna salute a villain I mean first and foremost as a hero that that's kinda contradictory to the whole hero I mean respect them maybe salute them not so much <sighs> now while I will admit I did ask my grandfather if he wanted to star in this. He said no, security reasons. But anyways, I do want to say this. While, and before you start asking why'd you ask your grandfather not your dad, well, I'm one of the people around in the world who have a single parent, my mom. While I don't know anything about my dad other than he left me or left my mom, I mean, I don't know what he looks like, his name, when he left me, any of that, nor do I even know why, but if I ever meet him, which is probably going to be in heaven, I would like to ask him why. I mean, I'll admit when I was younger, I was infuriated with him because of that, and my mom is very stressed out because of that almost every day, even more so on days like this and whatnot. Well, maybe not specifically Father's Day, but days that remind her that she's single. So to all kids with single parents out there and the single parent himself, regardless of if it's a single dad or a single mom, I am really sorry. But back to what I was saying, when I was younger, I was so mad, I actually wanted to find him and then smack the living daylights out of him with using a frying pan. Yes, that upset. And then after I, I guess you could say, found my calling, which is to be a hero to help unite the world together so we can finally defeat evil once and for all. Mentioned in my first video, I've had enough. Something needs to be done. But anyways, I was going to do that, but then, I, and then when I found what it really meant to be a hero, I just changed my mind and said, no, I just... Honestly, I just want to know why he why he left. I mean, right now, that's my main concern. But to all people, all kids who have a single parent and to all single parents out there, for whatever reason, the single parent is a single parent, I'm really sorry for whatever happened whether it be um something like the other parent got killed the other parent left and there was a divorce whatever caused the singularity thing i am really sorry that happened but one two things before i go to all dads out there who are heroes, especially those who help this country, not just this country, but any country that is not trying to, well, no, no, I know no country right now is actually trying to do this. It's more, it's not even a specific race, more like just a group of people. I salute all dads everywhere who aren't 
trying to, I don't know, blow up the planet or something stupid like that. And while admittedly that group I'm talking about is that whole terrorist group responsible for 9-11, 99.9% of all terrorist acts from then on, and even before, I'm not sure if it's the same terrorist group, different terrorist group, but anyways, I salute all dads who aren't doing that, basically. I salute every single dad, and that's a hero. But I must say this. One thing that I don't get about commercials, especially during Father's Day, is why so many of them are saying, the best Father's Day gift is a tool set. That would be fine, except two problems. One, not all guys use tool sets. I mean, my grandfather don't, doesn't, and I think the only, I think there's only one person in my family who does, or maybe two who are actually guys, Razor. Won't state their name, security reasons, but not every guy likes a tool set. I mean, I don't. I mean, for Pete's sake, admittedly, right now, my fixing things isn't exactly any concern to me at the moment. But that's, and admittedly, I'm not a dad, so I don't, I know some people are probably going to say this won't apply to me, but the point still remains. I, I don't see why I do that. That's basing it upon a stereotype for guys. And like I said in the first video, I don't know if I did or not, but I hate stereotypes. I mean, first and foremost, I hate stereotypes. I mean, I hate sin more than stereotypes, but in my opinion, stereotypes are technically a form of sin because when people focus on stereotypes, they focus so much on a stereotype that sometimes they don't even get to know the person. Like one stereotype going around. All guys supposedly like sports. Hate to tell you, but not all guys like sports. I mean, look at me. I actually hate sports. You try to get me to watch a football game, I'm more than likely to ask skewed to, oh, I don't know, give me a sewing needle and thread, and, or paint a room and stick me in there. I'd rather watch paint dry. I mean, you know you hate something when you'd rather watch paint dry than do that. And truth be told, I've seen paint dry, and not as a hobby. I mean, bedroom painted, I went to sleep, the paint was still a bit wet, so I watched it dry. Though admittedly it was a bit difficult with the lights off, the point still remains. That's more enjoyable than watching a sport. While admittedly the closest thing I like to sports would probably be racing, I don't watch race cars to keep track of who's the fastest and whatnot. I watch them because I know this may sound a bit weird, but I think it's due to my ADHD. I find it interesting how things in motion tend to look different than things standing still. I mean, take my hand for instance, and this is what my hand looks like when it's still, and then if I go, see that blur? It looks different, so I'd really like to know why. I mean, I know it has something to do with the way the light's hitting it, and the way it's perceived in the eye. But I want to know, why is it perceived in the eye that way? I mean, I'm a huge fan of science. Well, and there are some things in science that I say are better left unanswered. I'm still a fan of it nonetheless. I mean, that's just like on Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, and they suggest getting your girlfriend, wife, or mom some flowers. That would be fine if the person wasn't allergic to them or if the person didn't like them. Like, first of all, that wouldn't work for me because I'm not in a boyfriend-girlfriend kind of relationship. And aside from that, my mom, just like me, is very allergic to almost every single flower. I mean, even the anti-allergenic flowers, sometimes we, I mean, both me and my mom can have crazy allergic reactions, even if the thing says anti-allergenic or hyperallergenic, I'm not sure what the right word is, but 
still, that one at work. I mean, if there's one thing I hate about the human race, stereotypes. So to the companies trying to sell toolkits or something, I don't think you should do a sale on those during Father's Day. I mean, that's a great idea if the dad actually likes to build stuff, but, well, if the person doesn't like building stuff, and then you you want to get something for them for Father's Day that matches their interests, or interests, depending on how many interests they have, but the thing you're wanting isn't on sale, it's going to be really hard to get. Admittedly, and they say the best gifts come from the heart, the point still remains. You can't get what you're wanting to get if the thing you're wanting to get is not on sale. And the thing that if you do get, your dad won't like, is on sale. Hello? Not really going to help. I think for days like Father's Day and Mother's Day, and even Valentine's Day, they should have everything on sale, just like for Christmas and Easter. I mean, I know any business person is probably not going to do that, but just think about it. If not everyone has the same interests, then wouldn't it be better to do that? Because if the thing that some if someone is wanting to get a gift for someone on one of those holidays, and the only things on sale are the things that that person does not want. And the things that the person does want are, I don't know, $100 or something? Or just simply put, really expensive, maybe not 100 but when stuff like that happens, I can see how it could get very annoying. I mean, for Pete's sake, anytime I go to the store or go anywhere during a Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, pretty much any other holiday, except of course Christmas and Easter, I see stuff on sale. And I'm like, why is that on sale? Why is it this on sale? I mean, I don't understand stereotypes. I don't even know how half the stereotypes in existence came into existence. I mean, There are stereotypes all over the place. Like, well, I can't sing any off the top of my head, but, well, yeah. I guess there really isn't much to say. Hate to say it, but while I am a new YouTuber, I run out of content to talk about very quickly. It's not because I'm not a talkative person, I mean, trust me. I could, I'm really talkative. My whole family is talkative. Plus, I think I mentioned that in the first video, but I can actually talk, if need be, for two whole days. I mean, one time I had to learn giants, that didn't stop me. So no, the main reason why I don't, why I'm not talking a lot at the moment is because well, the only other things to talk about are my entire personal life. Well, admittedly, I would like to mention them. I have just a few problems. One, and there's a lot of people out there who I've met who actually want to harm me in some way, form, or fashion, including possibly a few people who actually want to kill me. Well, admittedly, I trust God to protect me from them. And there's that. Two, while I do have ADHD and, talk, and am talkative, finding the right words is a huge issue. I mean, I'm not joking. I can say one thing to one person, trying to mean one thing, and they think I'm meaning something else simply because I didn't say it was the right wording. So that's the other issue. And three, there's also the fact that while I do want to say it to someone, because 
I mean, I have told my friends and family about it. If you're talking to a person, it it's all fine and dandy when you talk to your close friends and relatives, but if you're like me, talking to them starts to lose, well, starts to lose its appeal because then you're like, I've said I, everything I want to say to them, but I still want to tell someone, but I am not going to tell someone that I've already told. Also, a lot of them are really stressful, and the best way for me to deal with stress, talk about it, but by talking about it, I remember it. And then it's a whole paradox. And the only thing I know to clear it up is to tell someone else who I've never told before. But that's a whole other issue in its own right because, well, it's finding someone who's willing to listen and find someone who's not going to completely misinterpret what you say and then cause, I don't know, worst case scenario, due to a miscommunication, you get sent to jail or something or you make it awkward with them. And due to how many miscommunications I've had in my life, both due to my disorders and due to anything else, I can't stand miscommunication issues. That's why I like our spots. For them, just a one and done. It's no miscommunication. It's either the other arthropod pays attention to the said warning or does it and then gets eaten alive. Simple as that. I mean, I'm not, com I'm not promoting something like cannibalism or something. I'm just making a point. If humans were like that, I think about 99.9% .9 of wars would be over because a lot of them are simply due to arguments caused by miscommunication issues. But, yeah, I think that's enough for today. So if there's something you want me to talk about, I mean, you give me a subject, I can possibly go on for 10 episodes about a single subject, or more if need be, though I'm going to try to limit it to one episode, possibly just 5 minutes of a single episode, since I see this is already 17 minutes and counting, or 17 minutes, 39 seconds and counting, rather. But the point still remains. I can't really talk if I don't have anything to talk about. I haven't, so most of my stuff deals with personal stories. Now, if I can figure out how to talk about those personal situations, get the wording out, and not be over detailed and whatnot, then maybe I'll start talking about them. I really have no idea. I mean, of course I'm not going to get so personal that all my personal information is out there. But I am planning on mentioning it at some point. It's just the how and when, I don't know. So, yeah, for the time being, bye. And to all heroes out there, I salute all of you. Keep up the great work. I mean, we gotta win this war. Enough is enough. Well, see all of y'all fellow heroes in the next video.